I'm really like, I really want to make my best effort at creating something that you guys think is really cool looking. So that being said, I created three holes in the wall. Ah, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I created something way cooler. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of a Fool Craft. Hope everybody are doing fan freaking tastic today. Check this out, redstone. <laughs> Last episode, dudes, we uh, <laughs> we automated redstone, and uh, yeah, I didn't realize this, but the, because I made the glass like this, like there's a very good little. I don't know what you what you call it, but you can access these and we can change out things and stuff. For example, like cactus. I don't think I'll ever need more than 8,800 cacti, to be fair. <laughs> so I may want to change that out for, for, for other plants. Uh, we also automated glowstone. Glowstone and the... Um, the thing was that I limited it at 2,000, right? And then we shut it off. I just changed that here a minute ago to 4,000. Uh, so that we get like a thousand glowstone blocks and four thousand dusts. Um, not sure if we're going to need that much. But I know that glowstone is going to be a thing that we need. And we're actually going to use it right now. I'm going to need two more crafts. We're going to do. We're going to begin today with uh, trying to make this. Um, uh, the last. Hoop. No, not the last because there's going to be more, thing late, more things later. But we're going to make uh, one, one uh, refinery of this that we spoke about. And that would be to see all the items being popped out and kind of sent into the vault uh, for storage. So I think that's going to be a cute little thing. And I wanted to do the impulse item duck. So let's head back to the, uh, let's head back to the uh, science lab. <laughs> okay, don't die it. Minimi, they're still chilling. They're still doing good. I had to do a little bit of clear up with my storage here because I forgot to put leaves in the uh, in the storage system uh, or in the vault, so it was clogging up my system. Uh, I think today as well, dudes, I would love to build a new room, another room for uh, for the base because like we're getting so crammed here that I gotta work harder on on getting rid of. Uh, uh, getting rid of things. Oh, and I also set up an induction smelter actually in between episodes. I did that to craft uh, Reinforced glass glass hardened glass this stuff and I also went mining so we have 1,000 uh, quartz now Which is nice very nice indeed uh, So how do I want to do this? But yeah, like I said um, definitely want to look into uh, uh, <laughs> Making a new room today and hopefully get I want to get to auto crafting today honestly if I can uh, and I, I, my plan is to make like a server designed room because you guys love it when I do a server room or you have been in the past anyway. So I would do a server room um, with auto crafting in it. Uh, but first of all, let's make these pipes. So I've made a magmatic crucible. We're going to upgrade that. We already had a fluid, trans fluid transposer. Uh, this should be easy enough to set up. You're going to output to there. You're going to input from there. Uh, we'll put the energy, I guess, on the back. Boop. And like that. I want to use this energy because obviously we want this to <laughs> not run out of power. And we're going to start um, uh, crushing down the glowstone. And then in the fluid transposer, we are going to make the item ducts. We're going to make the hollow ones, which is also why I wanted all that hardened glass. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, let's just make let's just make all of my hardened glass into that. Oh, or all my tin. Crap. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, I'm out of... Yeah, I'm out of tin. <laughs> Do I have any ores that I've mined? Tin? No. <laughs> Dude, I may have to go mining here in a minute. You need tin for so much in this pack. It's ridiculous. Uh, let's create a crate, I guess. It will be fine. And let's... Uh, actually, let's use two crates and some more glowstone. And this is something we'll auto craft and auto make in the future. Uh... But, you know, you know, everything has their time. So we can do auto input enabled and input from the top. And I'll put glowstone in there. This guy is going to be uh, input and export, which is a new feature in thermal expansion on the top, just like Android IO. Uh, and then I think if we put these guys in here, he should be smart enough to. Yeah, nice. And there they are. All right. So let's just try something out here, right? Uh, 
we want to have an indication of the stuff coming from these things so down the middle we'll we'll have a, a line like that and then we want to be able to see this line going into the vault now i don't know if i want it fully visible so i'm gonna be i'm gonna try something like this dig out a little bit of holes yeah i think this could look cool maybe maybe the glass makes it too bright let's just try with the uh dark glass as well and with the dark glass we could make something else that's very fancy we could put a, a light source down here and that would light up yeah let's try that with a with a torch torch that would light up the um um the 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 this thing down here but it would block the light to up here which which could give that cool effect of something glowing in the floor that i love yeah i almost like that better dudes like i i think i like that more i do love the glow the glowing glass but i think i love this more right that's really cool Dudes, we need to automate black dye, man. I keep running out of this stuff, and I keep hunting squid. <laughs> and you can do that with sheep in this pack, as a lot of you dudes have suggested. Suggested. And at the end of this uh, item line, we'll put an importer uh, from a chest, and a stack upgrade should be sufficient. And we can't open that chest like that, can we? <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully, we can still pull out stuff. We'll, we'll see that in a second here. Um... And I'm doing that. We could also send it directly to the drawer controller. But then if we are doing anything that requires... That we don't have in the vault. It's not going to be a good time. Basically. Uh, let's just see. So this gets imported. It does get imported. Uh, and basically, like, very important. We want things to be... Um, we want things to be uh, handled by the refined storage system. Uh, as much as absolutely possible. Check that out. That just creates that immersive feeling. We can see items traveling as we sort of walk around here. And it's a great thing for the floor as well because it gives us uh, something else to look at. I will admit it does look a little bit worse than I thought with, uh, with, with the dark glass. It's like very black all of a sudden. All right, so here's the glowing final product uh, during nighttime when there is not much light in here. I like it. It gives that immersive feeling that I want to see. Very happy with that. We see the cacti is traveling through. I gotta, I really gotta grow something else than cacti though. <laughs> That's uh, quite ridiculous. Are we still getting redstone, or is that like, has that like filled up our thing? No, I think I saw it go up there. I think I saw it go up. Uh, but very cool. I like it. I like it. Uh, I've started to expand here as well and trying to think out uh, how I want this next uh, chapter of our <laughs> spaceship factory of doom. And uh, I don't call it a factory, okay? And I think what we'll do is we'll have a crossing here. We'll have an intersection. And then over this way, I kind of want to have a little bit of a stretch with possibly a window come in here of some sort uh overlooking the area uh this thing here is a staircase to be down to where we need to bridge together with that and i'm not particularly fond of it i don't really like it because remember if we go back to the the design we have over there that's the exterior we need to somehow integrate like black black walls here right and if we're gonna have a window here we got to do that right now like that's gonna be the next next thing we we figure out base building wise because otherwise it'll be super weird uh but yeah anyway i'll i'll, I'll think about it but we'll have a uh, a window one two three four five six seven maybe is a good random uh uneven number and so when you run down here you you can sort of what uh see see the surroundings which i think is important we may grow like a tree here or you know something cool and then um coming over this way we would then enter the um storage room but i also or not storage room a uh, server room but i also want to have some sort of uh transportation from here to up here because i saw that there are there are some cool things up here that we can like use in the future for like a, an overlooking platform or whatever. Some kind of room up here uh, that's kind of open. Some kind of platform would be nice. So I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, I'm fine with using the elevators, by the way. A lot of people 
I don't know if, if people don't like them or if they're too simple. <laughs> there are some really cool mechanical elevators, but they're all very glitchy always, I feel. That being said, though, like, I've, I've used the RF Tools one in the past in Hermit Pack, and it worked pretty good. Um, so maybe we should use a, a proper elevator and have, like, a, a, an elevator room up or in here. That could be cool. Make a proper elevator shack up to here. But I don't know. And we don't want this tunnel to be too long without any interest in the wall either. Of course, we could put up another one of these here. But, um, yeah. A lot of thinking and humming and umming again. <laughs> you dudes know me. Probably gonna call our friends the Ruperts to help out uh, dig out uh, an area here. But, uh, yeah, what, what I want to focus on is getting the, and I don't know, I don't even know if I want to focus on the design. Uh, we'll see. But I, I want to get my, I want to get the server room up. Not because of the digital disk drives. I don't think we'll use a lot of those in this series. Uh, but because I want to, I want to combine it with the auto crafting uh, unit and get into that today. That, that's, that's gotta be the goal. That's gotta be the goal, okay? So if I have a seven window there and then I go three here, that could be good. And then the door comes comes right here. So I did make another tunnel and it occurred to me when I had made it that uh, we are not doing 5x5 five five tunnels. We got away from that. So I had to rethink the layout here a little bit. But I think this turned out pretty good. And uh, over here, there is actually space for a 3x3 three three elevator. Which I think is the RF Tools elevator. And that would take us all the way up till here. Which could work perfectly for a platform here. I'm actually super excited about adding that part. We'll see if I if I if we have uh, time to do some sketching on that today as well. But for now, uh, I want to dig out a room, so I got my I got my guys with me, and I think we did 11 by 11, right? Hopefully, hopefully. Then, uh, <laughs> I mean, they're so cool, the Ruperts. <laughs> and yes, they are from Rick and Morty. Yes, I know that. I know that, my dudes. I know that. But it's still a, it's still a direwolf uh, uh, production in in mod, in modded Minecraft, which I think is amazing. Um, but yeah, then I'm thinking we'll have a window here, and that looks like a very tiny window. <laughs> so I'll probably just use the entire width here, so it doesn't look silly. Hello, d d like seriously, m d take your freaking root hair and go back to where you were. <laughs> oh, I guess they, I guess they dug up a little bit there. Okay. Um, do I want this room to be a square shape or cube shape or do I want it to be sort of a, 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 a stretch room, like a rectangular room? I'm not sure. And I'm kind of, I'm excited about, um, oh yeah, we should look at the window that I just made as well. Yeah, that, that could work. I'm excited about, like, uh, having this base uh, uh, rule that we try and make everything from squares and then we can shape the squares rather than going into complex uh, builds from the get-go. It just makes things so much easier. So, uh, we want to get into... Ooh, crafting frame. We want to get into uh, uh, Reborn Storage, which is an add-on. Oh, that blocks look amazing. Oh, I'm going to use that for decoration uh, as well. Yeah, which is an add-on to uh, to refined storage, adding huge storage drives, like massive storage. Look at this. I think you can get this. is pretty insane. 300 and... That's fluid. Uh, where is the... Here. 16... Yeah. 16,000 million spots. 16 million spots. That's insane. It also adds a, a, a big crafter, kind of like from Applied Energistics 1. Whereas if you use refined storage for order crafting, you only get these guys, which like can only craft nine recipes. So I want to jump uh, away from those immediately when it comes to like crafting bench crafting and go directly to the crafting frames uh, or the the reborn storage crafting things. And I have to remember how this works. But you need um, the more of these blocks you have, the more storage uh, of patterns you can have in the system. All right, so let's try and put this uh, crafting unit up, I think, if I counted correctly, which, you know, <laughs> you know me, I probably didn't, uh, but hopefully I did. Gonna need a lot of these crafting frames. It's basically just quartz and the basic resources, basic resources, which we have a lot of, and redstone, which is why I wanted to automate redstone last episode. And I can already see that I've counted wrong, because I... <laughs> okay, so... Um, 
these uh, crafting frames goes in a frame block and then you need heat conductors, which I'm gonna need a little bit more of. This is just iron. Heat conductor. So we should be able to make a bunch more of these. Good. The heat conductor goes on the um, on the edges here. And they pull the heat away, I suppose. Uh, then, uh, like I said, I think you can shape this however you want, but per each block of these you get a lot of crafting uh, pattern spots, so we are probably gonna extend this later. But you need one crafting CPU, I think, and then we cap it off with these. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Nice. So we got two pages of uh, crafting recipes. Every spot in here is one crafting recipe. And then we of course need to wire this up to a uh, refined storage cable, and I just love having the morph mod when wiring things. <laughs> I got this uh, sort of a uh, structured uh, cable going underneath all of these uh, uh, areas, so that's good. So now that's accessible from our system, or should be. And then to access the actual uh, patterns, or to create the actual patterns, we need to create a pattern grid, like I saw. And for now, again, we'll just put that there. <laughs> and then we need to put patterns in here, and... Um, now we can make crafting recipes. Now we don't have any processing patterns, we only have crafting recipes. But for example, uh, sticks we are producing a lot of, but what about wood planks? That's something that I always feel you run out of. So, let's just test this to make one pattern. There is another block as well called the storage monitor. Uh, this guy? Storage monitor. No, that's not the, that's not the right, uh, that's not the right block, sorry. Manager something is what it's called. Manager. The storage monitor is something else that we're gonna use. Crafting manager. This guy. Um, I think this is sort of new from this mod as well. I need to make more of these. And crafting manager. Yeah, this is kind of new in this and I, mm, we'll see. Yeah, multi-block crafter. So, from here we should be able to access our crafter and this is kind of what I was hoping for. <laughs> For those of you who played around with the Blood and Logistics, you will, you will recognize this. Um, so this should be the two pages, like, combined there. So if we try and put this in there, we should now be able to craft oak planks. Craft, yes. Okay, let's go 64. Boom. Nice, dudes. There we go. We got auto-crafting. So the way I deal with auto-crafting is whenever I need to make something, instead of sitting here trying to think out uh, what I want... Uh, whenever I make something, I usually want to add it to the to the system, right? So, and then add all the sub things, uh, and slowly but surely you build you will build up like a, a nice buffer of uh, for your system to understand what to do. Now we still don't have access to anything that needs processing, like the processors and that kind of stuff, but we can definitely start putting in a lot of things here, which is great. So I've added a bunch of recipes into this dude, and one thing that I do definitely want to add is all of our Philosopher's Stone recipes. Uh, so that we can always easily craft this stuff. Uh, gold is the next one, I think. Uh, yes, like that. And then <clears throat> Iron Philosopher's Stone. Oh, it's in my inventory. Hello. <laughs> like that. Sweet, so now we can always create these ingots that I craft manually. But yeah, I added a bunch of stuff, mainly the like the the tough things to add. The cool thing with uh, with having an auto uh, crafting system is that you very quickly realize what you need to produce, like what 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 should be the next priority. So, for example, if I want to create uh, a bunch of 4K discs, it's gonna say. We don't have silicon, we don't have the processors. Now, this is something we process, right? But raw production of silicon and glass is bad. So that's something we want to look into. And uh, there's a super cool way to do that in this pack. But uh, for now, let's try and design this room. I don't want to make the mistake I always do and like not, not finish <laughs> these... Uh, these part projects that we do. So I dug out another uh, stretch on either wall here, and uh, I think I want to do kind of what I did in Foolcraft one or two with the uh, with the doors. If you dudes uh, saw that, so I set up a, a door design here that I think could look good with the code eighty five. Create door, create a bunch of them, and we're not gonna fill these. Uh, these disk drives, <laughs> we don't have the resources to do so, but they there's I'm kind of thinking that they should last the season out, right? So, we come in here, 
And I want to place these in two stacks like this, maybe. And that's going to be a lot of storage if we put like big storage units up there. Oh, and why is this happening? I hate this. So in some places, it's like it doesn't it doesn't receive a proper light update, even if I put a torch on it. Nothing we can do about that. That's a bug in refined storage. Um, so then these steel blocks from immersive engineering that are super <laughs> good looking they go so well with this gray color uh, i also made these enriched quartz iron blocks they're not the same as the framing uh frame ones but they're similar uh and then i don't know which one i want to use but let's try these doors that we made so we'd have doors like that and like that and we'd have a door on top here or not not a door we'd have like some kind of block up there and uh open them yeah i made them super slow as well which i think is cool uh we could just do a shield again like we did on the uh in the other room and and eye sensors but i kind of want to do something different plus i think this looks really good with a with a storage drive specifically when we start having discs in there and you want to you want to access these individually as well i think is important i kind of like that i kind of i kind of like that honestly it it does look very clean though, and that's I suppose that's kind of what I'm going for here, right? Hmm. Yeah, not a bad one. There is the laboratory blocks that I usually like as well. These guys, they're very white. Tile or large tiles. I want something that makes like squares. Yeah, this stuff. Unfortunately, this stuff has a little bit of blue into it, so I don't know if that's gonna be great. This may actually be what I go with, but I just oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Dang it. I just want to try this out. So, yeah, let's try it out here. If I if I go down one level, right, and then we do this, and then on top of that we would have the glass blocks. It would be super bright from the glass. But yeah, it doesn't really. Hmm. Okay, let's try that same thing <laughs> with mist, with the white mist. That looks pretty good. I do not love the yellow line though, unfortunately. The yellow line is not great. Alright, dudes, uh, I've been working away here a little bit. Ooh, is that wrong? No, that's correct. Been working around, uh, 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 away here a little bit. I'm still nowhere near done with this room. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I want to say this before I show you what I've done. It's important to me that uh, the rooms have like their own unique thing while still fitting the theme of the base. It's kind of weird. And I'm, I'm really like, I really want to make my best effort at creating something that you guys think is really cool looking. So that being said, I created three holes in the wall. Uh, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I created something way cooler. Way cooler. Over here. I think. Well, okay. It kind of looks like a fridge from 1964. But <laughs> but I think it's it's something. Uh, so it's a little bit of a trick uh, or a challenge to work with... Uh, with with the uh, with the mecha like the technical blocks, making sure that it works with a good design. But after a lot of humming and humming, a couple of hours back and forth thing, I think I got something that I think uh, looks cool and uh, I like it. So, uh, yeah, basically that's our storage drives. I put some fans below here, put some heat sinks or whatever. Um, no, fan covers, whatever that is. I bumped this out from the wall a little bit uh, to make it look like a module that we've inserted into the wall and kind of drilled into the wall. Um... To secure it. I don't I don't know. I don't know, but something something along those lines. Then this block I've only now started working on because it's really ugly. Or it's really it's not super ugly. I like the color, but it's like, yeah, it's not very fitting. And then over here, over here, I think I'll install another crafting grid and a pattern grid so that like I want every room to in a way have like a have like a, an ability for us to work in. Uh, at least with the bare minimum of accessing our storage room. <laughs> it's just going to be convenient that way. All right, dudes. I am getting very happy with our server room. Just doing some final touches. Uh, and then I think uh, I'm happy with it. Changing out the interior of these from the mist blocks to the uh, vect blocks. Just because that gives a better dimension. Uh, this is how it looked before. Well, 
I mean, this looks good too, but I think since this is a module that we have installed, I think it looks better, right? Uh, so that's a thing. Let's do it over here as well. And that's the last last one. Uh, boom, boom, and boom. Yeah, nice. Oh, I like this. Uh, I also did some designs to this thing, added some heat vents, just some small things to make it look a little bit better. Added the uh, patterns and stuff in this wall here, added some ducts uh, or some, some pipes. Just to get... These pipes do a very good thing, right? They add... A little bit of roundness <laughs> to to the square in Minecraft with it without it feeling too weird. I just want to see out of curiosity. Can I craft? I should be able to craft some of these, right? You can't even see the light. The light glitch is so annoying. What about here? Because the light glitch is not here. Please, dear refined storage mod author, you've made an amazing mod. Can you please fix that light glitch? Though it's been there for so long. Yeah, that's more correct. I like it, so we'll be able to see the indication of the fullness of the storage system. Obviously, um, once we get uh, enough uh, resources, we will upgrade these. And did you guys know this? If you shift right click, look at this, you get the housing back and you get your storage parts back. And it takes three parts to make a 4K one, which basically... Anyway, I'm happy with this. I also went ahead and I installed uh, our eye recognition system. Richard was uh, was a uh, was a nice helper in that, so we got that installed. I did change this shield out from the ones we've done previously. I did the uh, transparent one, and I think that looks better. You guys will have to let me know what you think, but this is the previous look, and I don't know. It just it looks great here with the white, but with the yellow, it kind of looks a little bit weird. Yeah, I I think that looks so much better. I don't know what it is. It just feels a little bit better. Another thing here is, uh, if you dudes remember, I was talking about this in an episode, could have been in a stream. Uh, Halion, my artist, my wonderful artist, has made some massively beautiful signs that we could use in the factory. Um, <clears throat> so I took her template and I added the word servers. And I was planning on having these on all, uh, in front of all the rooms, right? The only problem is that because Minecraft is like block based, I guess. Uh, I think it's completely impossible to get them to be on an uneven number. So you can see here, when we're using a four wide screen, it looks perfect. But I know Halion spent the whole day just researching different sizes and stuff, and I felt so bad. Uh, so I don't know if, if we should use these, or if, or if I should see if she can come up with a different design. Because the background of the screens will always be black, where the image doesn't stretch to. If that would be, um... Transparent RW Tema that would that would totally solve that thing. Uh, I also want to return to this now I've been playing playing here all day today uh, doing a lot of off-camera work and stuff and this was actually Like uh, this morning. I did this uh, thing that you just saw in the video and I went back and I looked at this and I thought maybe it would look better uh, First of all if we do this right so we don't have this t-shape because that it bothers me. <laughs> the T-shape bothers me. Yeah, I think that's better because you can still see the pipe coming through there. And I think that's that's the that's the important thing. Uh, and then I wanted to see as well if maybe, because it's like there's a huge contrast there, maybe we could use some other blocks here, which would help us mix up the, uh, mix up the floor as well. So let's set this to one by one. I mean, that looks pretty good. I do like that. So now the floor is definitely not too repetitive. Because remember, this little thing will be like everywhere in the base. <laughs> so it's always, go it's always good to get like a little bit of uh, differentiation. I think I like that more. You dudes will have to let me know what you think about that though. But I think I like that more. So just out of curiosity, uh, I know we're running uh, out of video time here today. <laughs> but before we, uh, before we end, I just want to see what happens if we try and raise... A bit of a facade, because I can't really design this window that we dug out and stuff without knowing how it's going to look from the outside. Oh my goodness, dudes. This is going to look so freaking epic. Oh my goodness. That, that looks... That, that looks really good. That looks really good. The only thing I'm worried about is... Will it fit? Du, du, du. Space-wise is what I mean.
Why is my hat on my shoulder? <laughs> Anyway, dudes, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you dudes have enjoyed this episode. I've had a lot of fun today. I hope you guys enjoyed the server room and the and the in the re the, the reborn auto crafting storage. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys join me next time. Find out if we can make this fit. Find out if we can finish this facade. I want to do that in the beginning of the next episode. Because next time, I think I want to focus on moving some more parts from, from our from our base, uh, from our science lab. Uh, I want to, I want to, I want to make a massive machine basically next time that moves and spins. I'm very excited about it, in fact. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for the love and supporting Foolcraft. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you dudes in the next episode.